this is a it's a great day for the parks department and the the neighbors here uh, when I got over to parks four years ago this is one of the projects that was hanging around and the mayor told us you know that she wanted these things to get done and without her help and commitment to help us find money uh, along with the assemblymen and several neighborhood groups we wouldn't be able to get this done I'd like to call up uh, from the Park Ave Neighborhood Association um, two people that were involved in this a couple times I had to sit between them but <laughs> but it shows you that in the end um, the focus was there and the project got done and they worked tirelessly to help us do this along with the Parks Department. So. I just want to thank um, uh, Assemblyman Magnarelli for getting us the money. I remember years ago when the sidewalks came in and the sidewalks were supposed to come in straight in this beautiful park. And, uh, you know, we really wanted them in serpentine. He, he really decided that that was going to happen and along with the city at the time. So many positive changes have been happening in the city. I want to thank the administration here. I want to thank uh, Bill Ryan. He's always been such a great, <laughs> a great person. You know, when he was over at the Federal Credit Union, he was so amazing, always involved. I want to thank our wonderful mayor, who has been very involved in this project. It went on forever and ever and ever. And even with some of the negativity that has gone around it, I'm just so glad that this positive change has, has been made. We have something beautiful in the middle of the park again, and I hope we're all going to be enjoying it. I want to thank um, all of the neighbors that have put time and effort in going to all of the meetings to fight for this. I want to thank um, also uh, Commissioner Mohammed and Glenn Lewis for tirelessly always being there for us and, and really making us feel like this project was going to happen even though it didn't seem like it was going to. When this project was started, it was started by myself and Bill Magnarelli over seven years ago, was it, Bill? Yeah, something like that. Seven years ago. Yeah. As Bill said, he's glad he lived to see this project to fruition. I want and to so thank the city of Syracuse and the Parks Department and whoever else was inspired enough to help us out by putting this gazebo up. And I promise you, it, it's going to be here for a long time. Thank you. All right. How great does it feel to be in this neighborhood? I mean, come on. we got to love this. Sun's out. It's warm. we got a brand new pavilion. What else can we ask for at this point, right? Uh, we've gained a lot. We've lost a lot. We can look to our left and Marcel's casket's gone. But we can look to our right and we see the five sisters renovated. And even a little further down on the 800 block, we've got brand new housing going up on empty lots, which used to be filled with uh, vacant housing. And if we just look a little further on West Tennessee Street, we've got a new Aldi's. And, you know, for all those coffee lovers, Dunkin' Donuts is going in. So we've got a lot coming through this neighborhood right now today. Um, and as we stand here in Leavenworth Park, kind of the center of our neighborhood, an eye shot of downtown, uh, you know, a, a stone's throw away from Onondaga Creek, um, we stand here proud to say, to see what we have today from the hard work and dedication from you, our neighbors, and our administration. So I just want to say, uh, this park finally has received its crown, thanks to you, Assemblyman McNarelli. Uh, the great work continues to spread here along Park Avenue. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for attending uh, this afternoon, especially the neighbors who stayed steadfast, um, probably showed up in my office a few days after I started and asked me when this uh, gazebo was going to go up. I just want to uh, talk uh, briefly about uh, some of Magnarelli. Uh, the path you see going through this park connecting to this uh, gazebo was also a grant that was secured by uh, some of Magnarelli's office along with this gazebo. So we definitely owe him uh, a big round of applause of gratitude for kicking this off. I'd like to thank my staff. I know uh, uh, Jeff mentioned myself and Glenn, but there were many city departments that were involved in making this happen. You can't do anything by yourself in city government. Uh, so 
You know, we have the chief of staff, director of operations here, Ben Walsh. Um, you can't get anything done. And, of course, you need the boss uh, to, to back you up. So I call her sometimes uh, when I really can't get anything done. But it takes a collective effort uh, to get things accomplished. And same thing goes for community. Uh, I moved here, you know, going on nine years ago, uh, seen great changes in this community on Park Ave right here. You have two uh, thriving schools, improving schools right down the street. It just seems like this is much more of a neighborhood now because there's an investment. And a little example of an investment was before construction was even complete, we had these shrubs here, which was not supposed to be done, but we appreciate it. <laughs> so thank you, Sean. <laughs> I just put you out there. But these are things we appreciate. These, It's just an example of people caring about their community. Uh, I just want to note, uh, also notate that uh, this project couldn't have been done without county. The uh, green infrastructure you see on the outside of this perimeter park, Matt Marco here is from Save the Rain. Uh, could you just raise your hand, Mark? We've done about, uh, about five projects now. We look to do many more projects with the county and state funds. So it's a great collaboration between city, county, and state. If there are any businesses out there, I know we invited you, we appreciate it. You are a part of this community. We want you to have your outings here, uh, your picnics in this park because this is a community. We want people in the park. Um, so I'd just like to thank everyone again. I just want to put this out there. That playground that my son was playing on is about 40 years old and we want to replace it. So. <laughs> So we want to replace it, so that means a lot of you here, I will be reaching back out to you, asking you to get involved, probably financially. I don't know if I can say that, but I'm saying it. We want you to get involved because we want to replace that playground in the next couple of years. So uh, thanks, to Glenn, thanks again, and um, right now I want to call up Assemblyman Magnarelli. Well, thank you all very much, and I, too, want to thank you all for coming out here uh, today. Um, I do have to thank the mayor and the commissioner and Glenn, uh, and I also think I owe them a few apologies, not just one, but probably a number of apologies for raising my voice, uh, at least on a yearly basis, uh, to try to get this thing done. Uh, I said to them, I think the pyramids were built uh, quicker than this gazebo. But uh, anyway, I'm happy to be here, and this is really uh, all about the neighbors. If I can think of, if there's any one area in the city that had a neighborhood organization that really made itself heard uh, during my 15 years in the New York State Assembly, it's been this neighborhood. Um, and I think that uh, you should be commended for all of, uh, for your stick to um, It's been fun uh, to watch what's gone, gone on around here. And I'll, I'll never forget when I got the phone call when uh, the prior administration mayor was going to uh, uh, put in the sidewalk and it was going to be straight. And I remember calling the then commissioner saying, you can't do that. And he said, why can't I do that? And I said, well, the neighbors don't want it and it's not historically correct for this, uh, this park. And uh, to his credit and to the, that administration's credit, they corrected that. Uh, and we have the curved uh, sidewalks that we have and always have here. So we're trying to keep the character of the park. Again, I just want to commend everybody, uh, particularly the neighbors, the mayor, her staff, the commissioner, his staff, um, and all of these leaders here behind me who have made this uh, possible. Thank you very much for having me here today. Thank you. So at this time, we'll hear from Mayor Miner.
Thank you very much, Commissioner. I am very pleased to be here. Uh, I, too, want to add my voice and thank the neighbors uh, and Assemblyman Magnarelli for uh, staying on top of this, for believing in the power of their vision and not accepting second best. I think far too many times in our history we have accepted second best, and uh, the Park Avenue Neighborhood Association would not do that. And as a consequence of that, you see here incredible investment and the vitality that is coming from that investment. Not just this gorgeous, uh, accurate gazebo, uh, but a beautiful park with appropriate sidewalks, with development and housing, and all of us working together to see the kind of vibrancy that really is what we celebrate in this city. Um, it would not have been possible had it not been for the neighbors uh, staying on us, for committed city public employees figuring out a way to get it done. There are some projects that they just come with obstacles. And unfortunately, they're usually what seems to be in the eyes of the community the easiest projects, and that's never the case. The most complex pro projects are normally the ones that are the easiest to get done, and the ones that you think are simple are never simple. So we had a committed group of city employees and uh, leadership in the city and the state and others who said, we've got to get this done, and we will get it done no matter what obstacle they throw in our way. Uh, we did that because um, we believe in the Park Avenue neighborhood. We believe that um, this neighborhood group and the people who live here uh, believe in their neighborhood and act consistently with that. This neighborhood always has the most beautiful flowers of any neighborhood. <laughs> but if you tell anybody that before Election Day, I will, um, I will take it out on you. Um, they always... Uh, always have beautiful flowers, always are thinking about their park, always thinking about the future. And so I want to just say thank you and leave you with this. As long as you continue to be committed to your neighborhood, your parks, your housing, we will be committed with you as well, and the future will be ours to seize. So thank you for believing in your dreams and the vision for your neighborhood. I'd just like to thank everyone for coming out today, and now we'll have the ribbon cutting.